using the favorite plugin in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.1. I've also created a handful of folders and jobs to be able to use while we're using our favorites plugin. So let's take a look at the documentation for the favorites plugin. And much as the name says, what this plugin allows is it allows you to mark an object within Jenkins as a favorite. Now at this point, I've already installed the plugin. Let's go verify that. We'll go to our Manage Jenkins. We'll go to Plugins. And for installed plugins, what we'll do is we'll search for favorites. And what we can see here is that favorite is installed at version 2.4.2. So let's go ahead and go back up to the top of our controller. What we can see here is by default, we now have a favorite column showing up on our global views. But what we want to do is instead of using the global views and marking the favorites at that level, what we want to do is we want to set up favorites at a view level that we are using. So let's go ahead and go over to my views. And the way that we can tell we're in my views is if we take a look at the breadcrumb, we can see dashboard admin, which is my user ID, my views and all. So let's go ahead and create a new view here. I'm gonna click on new view and let's give it a name of my dash favorites. Now, why am I using a dash here? When I click on create, the view name that I give it is what's going to show up in the URL. I could have just said my space favorites, but then I would have had a percent %20 up in the URL. So I'm just guarding against any problems that might show up in that case by using a dash. Now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and also select list view and click on create. Now that we're on the configuration for the view, let's scroll down to job filters. We're going to select recurse into subfolders. And instead of selecting jobs just from the jobs list, what I'm going to select is use a regular expression. And what I want to do is I want to include all jobs on this controller. By using dot star and in combination with recurse into subfolders, this is going to give me access to all jobs on the controller. Now let's go ahead and go down to the add job filter that's right below the regular expression. Here, I'm going to select a favorites filter. Once I've added that filter, I want to go down to columns just to make things a little bit different. I'm going to say I don't care about the build button and I want to go ahead and move my favorite column all the way to the left. So if I go ahead and click on OK, at this point, I don't see any jobs set up as a favorite because I haven't made any jobs a favorite yet. So let's go ahead and click on the All tab. Again, I'm on the All under My Views. Let's say for a moment, I want to go ahead and select everything that's in Folder 2. And let's click into Folder 3. And let's select Jobs 4 and 6. Let's say that's all I want. One folder and two jobs. So if we go ahead and click on My Views again in the breadcrumb. And then click on My Favorites. What we're going to see here are just the items that we favorited. We see that the folder for Folder 2 is marked here at the very top. And then we only see the two jobs from folder three. So by using this view, I can track only the jobs I care about by marking them favorite. Now, if I wanted to unfavorite something, it's just as simple as clicking on the star and then the favorite will be deleted. However, as we click that, as you can see, the view does not automatically refresh. So if we go ahead and do a refresh, now we're at the point to where the only items that are left are the favorited items. Now let me show you one more place to where you can see what items you have favorited. Go under your account at the top right hand corner, click on the drop down and click on configure. If you scroll down here on this page, you will see a favorites section. And from here, you're able to go ahead and click over to those jobs. But notice right below favorites, there is a my views. If we go ahead and go back up into dashboard, right now we're on our global root view, but let's go into my views. And let's say for a moment, when I click on My Views, I want the My Favorites to be the item that it goes automatically to. So I know the name of my view is My Dash Favorites. Let's go ahead and go back over into our configure for our user. We'll go down into My Views and just type My Dash Favorites. Now, let me make a change here. I'm going to say My Favorites 1 and tab out of the field. What you'll see here is it's telling me a view with that name doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and get rid of the one, tab out of the field, and then there's no error again. So this is actually checking live for a view that you own that is under my views. So let's go ahead and click on save. We'll go back up to the root of the controller again, click on my views, but this time when I click on my views, it's gonna take me right in to my favorites. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? 
take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.